Hi everyone, welcome to how to do it. Today we're going to learn about doc type in HTML. If you go to any website and if you take a look at the source code of that particular web page, so the doc type HTML is the very first line of code you will notice. So for example, now I'm going to the Wikipedia site and if you view the source code of this page, you can see doc type HTML is the very first line of code in this page. What is this doc type? Why we use doc type in HTML? For example, you can see this is a code of a sample web page. So here I have defined the doc type HTML as a first line of code. Doc type declaration is the very first thing in your HTML document before starting the HTML tag. Doc type declaration is not an HTML tag, it is an instruction to the web browser about what version of HTML the page is written in. The doc type helps the browser to render your page correctly. So always you have to add the doc type as the first line of your code. So browser knows what type of document to expect when you define the doc type in your web page. So the doc type HTML code needs to be written in all the pages in order to get that page rendered in a correct way in the browser. So different version of HTML has different ways of defining the doc type. So now this is the way that we define the doc type HTML code in the HTML5 version. HTML5 is the latest version that we are using now. So in other versions of HTML, so we there are different methods available to define the doc type. When you define the doc type HTML in your document, the website gets rendered in standard compliance mode. If you don't define the doc type HTML in your document, your web page gets rendered in coax mode. So there are differences when the page gets rendered in standard mode and the coax mode. So for example, I'll show you two pages. So you can see these two pages. So these two pages are almost with the same content, but this page is with doc type and this page is without doc type. When in standard mode, the browser renders the page respecting all implemented standards. In the coax mode, that could cause unexpected efforts to your web page. For example, now if I go to inspect of this page and you can see inside the head tag, I have written a style class called paragraph styled that is in uppercase letters. And also you can see in the p tag, I have called this class in lowercase letters. I have written the color green for this style, but the style is not applied here. But if I go to this page, this page is without doc type. And you can see inside the head tag, I have the same class with uppercase letters. And inside the body tag in the paragraph, I have called this class paragraph styled in lowercase letters, but the style is still applied. So it means when you call the class names and the ID names in the page that is without doc type, that is not going to be case sensitive in this document. So in the page where that is with the doc type, when you call the classes and the IDs, that is going to be case sensitive. Also, you can see in this page, I have defined the doc type and there is a top margin that has got applied. But in this page, there is no top margin. So to sum up, doc type declaration should go as a first line in every HTML document you create in order to get your page rendered in standard compliance mode. And you should only use doc type HTML from now as the latest HTML version is HTML5. In this video, we have learned about what is doc type and why we use doc type in HTML. If you like this video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.